We got to talk about El Chicano. Let me start by <laughs> celebrating the people at the table. This guy will not admit it, but he is my friend and has been for many years. Joe Carnahan has brought you some of the greatest, most revolutionary action movies of all time. And for the depth of his career, has been celebrating people of color. If you look at people that you gave Alicia Keys her very first acting choice, yep. you, you oh. Common, uh, one of his best roles yet. And, uh, also his first gig. Yeah, yeah, and you just keep going. So there's Joe Carnahan of A-Team fame and of Smoking Aces fame, NARC fame, and then some. Uh, over here, the lovely and talented star of The Resurrected, Aww. Lucifer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Amy Garcia. Uh, also, George Lopez, you kind of cut your teeth on that show, The George Lopez Show. I did, yeah. He's like an uncle in real life. Benjamin <laughs> Bray Hernandez is a, a remarkable second unit director and is amazing in everything he puts his hands on, including El Chicano. But I I should probably point out that Bradley Cooper probably would not be able to throw a decent punch on film if not for your teaching. That's right. Right? Damn it. That's true. right. No, no, uh, I taught him how to do like a, a straight overhand right. There you, you go. Know, not telegraphed, uh, especially when you have somebody like this with Joe Carney with all this boxing knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's how he won the Oscar, everybody. And that's how he won the Oscar. And that's how he got an Oscar yeah. for best song. Right <laughs> yes, there. Right there. <laughs> and it. before that, the 18 movie is what we were talking about. Yes, exactly. Now, El Chicano. I almost want to weep when I talk about this movie because it is so effective. And yes. I, I love what it says about anybody can be a hero. I love how it steps up for the Latin community in a way I've never seen a film do before. So congratulations thank to you, thank you. our Latin. Very, 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 very yeah. proud yeah. of it. I think one of the, one of the main things, the premise and I talked to Joe about this a lot, is having Latinos and Latinas, when you watch this movie, to, some of the messages are thinking outside the box. Yeah. Having these opportunities that anybody can be a hero and, um, and that Latinos have stories to tell, man. Yeah. We have a whole community of stories. It's like, this is our time. And also yeah. when we heard, it's like, well, you know, you have Latinos battling Latinos, but it's like, when you make a decision to have an almost 100% Latino cast, and that yes. becomes the precedent. Yeah. Who plays the good guy, who plays the bad guy, really is, you know, it's like, yeah. I don't look at Die Hard and go, those are all white guys, the bad guys, and there's a white guy as a hero. Right. I think that's the conversation to have. It's like, why sure. aren't we making more of these movies? Why aren't there these kinds of things? Black Panther is a perfect example. You know, yeah. This does for Latin community what Black Panther did, the African American community, very, very, very happy. What I love, every character in this movie brings on authenticity, and you mm -hmm. had to lean into that, right? Definitely. I mean, I love that Vanessa is this woman who's from East Los, goes and gets educated, and then comes back to help her own and teach the next generation of kids. And it really is a historic movie. I mean, we have not had a mostly all Latino cast in a superhero movie ever. Right. But it's been 20 years since Selena and La Bamba yeah. and Mi Familia, and yet we are 25% of ticket buyers. Yeah. So right. we're represented on screen, I think it's 3%, and yet we're a quarter of movie sales. So I'm really proud to be part of the story that really reflects the people that go and bring their whole family yeah. to see these great stories. So it's, exactly. it's like a double it's a double win. Yeah, yeah. it I'm, really is. I'm just so excited. I showed my dad the trailer to this movie, and the last three movies I took my dad to, he fell asleep, because he's very picky. But he said, yo, yeah, take me to this movie, because I'm so ready for La Balacera. <laughs> because there's a lot of that, there's a lot of action in, in this movie, and he's like, I'm so ready to see a lot of more people like you and like me and like your brothers on screen. Oh, and this I love is that. A, and this I is a story. I love that. And this is a story about brothers. This is a story about family, and this is a story that has voices and just so much to tell in the most authentic way. And I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Because you're opening, in it, you're opening up doors. I might cry a little bit. I'm going to make you cry. cry too. Don't make God, me cry. cry. I'm Latin. I can cry. <laughs> um, you're opening up doors for little girls like me who watched movies with her dad and could never say, "Oh, she looks like me," oh you know, God. and she's the star. So that's thank you very much. Thank you so very much. And for my dad, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Then Joe showed, uh, geez, showed me the trailer for this. I know. Yeah, I'm emotional there. Me too. But this is the kind of connection that, Bro, that I was so hoping to make to as a filmmaker. God, man. So for great. young Latinas like this in the Latin community, the next generation coming up, that we have all these stories to yeah. tell. And by the and way, they're hard yeah. for, felt and they're story driven and they can relate to. So when you sit in the theater, you see the same faces mm -hmm. you see at home, yeah. you see them on screen. And that's. And, and you know, for 10 years, Ben said, listen, I just don't identify with a white billionaire who lives in a cave. You know? I just, that's yeah. not me. That's not me. Yeah. And for a decade, I, I listened to him say that. And so for her to say that now and see his reaction, it just warms my heart. It's like, and, and also, it's so funny. When we did show at the Latin Theater Company in LA, the fan mail that he got afterwards was from these young Latinas, young 18, Latinas, 19, yeah. 20 years old, who just absolutely loved the movie and what it had to say. 
you know? It's one of the most authentic superhero type movies I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. And I tell people, it's like Batman, if Batman were Latin and living in Los Angeles and it could happen, this is how it would probably happen. But let's go back before that. You, you, I, I see you tearing up and I apologize for seizing this nah. moment. But when Joe showed me the trailer for this in Atlanta a few months ago, uh, he told me the backstory that if not for something tragic with your brother, this story might not be being told. Yeah, you know, it was, it was an unfortunate situation. Um, it's been a, a 12 year journey. I mean, I had a, unfortunately lost a brother to gang violence 12 years ago. And, um, and I started writing somewhat of a memoir about his life. It was, it was therapeutic for myself. Um, and as I came up into the business, uh, eventually meeting Joe and becoming one of my best friends, um, I kept working on, kept working on the script, and uh, another tragedy that struck. I lost a daughter about four years ago. Um, without me getting emotional about Sorry, that, um, Joe, being my best friend, um, said he listed the same thing you did when you initially started writing this idea about El Chicano. Um, maybe it's time now, as crazy as it sounds, to finish this, and not only dedicated to your brother, dedicated to your daughter. Yeah. And so I had a friend uh, in New York, lived in the financial district, one bedroom apartment. Once I took care of my family, uh, I went out there for four weeks and I wrote in the dark, wrote 185 pages of this crazy memoir. Um, just I put every, all my heart, all my soul into it, which is what Joe wanted me to do. I came back to LA, he looked at everything, we got together, we went, he had a place out in Palm Springs and we spent the next two weeks crying hugging it out, yeah. tequila shots, and we came out with these amazing 125 pages that represent my family, and each one of those characters are somebody that I grew up with uh, in the industry, and, um, and, and not only in, I'm sorry, not in the industry, in the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, and then uh, while all this was happening, we finally got the money and everything together, uh, my mother passed away suddenly, who was a big fan of this, and mother playing, you know, Susana, played yeah. by Marlene Forte. Awesome. Um, the, the, Everything, it's weird how just everything kind of aligned. We started shooting on her, on on her, her birthday. birthday. On her birthday. Yeah. On his mother's birthday. Just happened. Poetic. Yeah. And so, Poetic. Yeah. And it, yeah. yeah. And you know, it's, it's like, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's, 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 it's a blessing that this is getting done. And then during that process, working as a television director and then meeting Amy on Lucifer, directing her, and I just knew, it's like everything was falling everything falls in place. place. Yeah. My, wife is, my wife is fond of saying, like, there are angels around this movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. There are yeah. angels around oh, this yeah. movie, you know, which I think is so true, you know. Absolutely. And I think that's what makes it so special. Like, you have a, a symbolically personal story, yeah. right? When have you had a superhero that's based on something that really happened in real life? It's not totally fictional. It's so emotional yeah. and personal mm -hmm. to Ben. You have, you know, Academy Award winning action, you know, like heavyweight over yeah. here. Yeah. And then you have this incredible story that people, whether Everybody you're a guy or a girl, yeah. can relate, can relate to. to. It's, it's something that's never happened before, especially yeah. in a superhero movie. Yeah. So it's a really, really special character driven story and it's that is heart need. and action. And it's something we need. If I can <laughs> jump on that, if it's some, that's something we yeah. need. We need something that is relatable, but that is real. Right. And that is another thing I have to thank you for is you are so brave for being so vulnerable and oh, sharing yeah. this story. So like that takes a lot that takes a lot. Yeah. And but you're doing it justice and you're still telling your story and you're coming hard doing it because you really want this to resonate with people. But it is in the most beautiful way because I'm telling you I teared up during the trailer this movie, and so did my dad. Yeah! yeah. If the, the three-minute trailer can do that, imagine what Absolutely. the movie yeah. This Absolutely. movie is born of angels, it's born of friendship, it's born of kind-hearted, like-minded people that you pull yeah. into your circle, and we celebrate El Chicano, Cinco de Mayo weekend, May 3rd, awesome action, yeah. great heart, and uh, <laughs> we'll keep championing this. That's great. Thank you, Thank you brother. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Social media, shout out. Where do we find you guys so we can hear more about El Chicano? Carno Joe. Amy, A-I-M-E-E, -E, Garcia, number four, Reels, with a Z. <laughs> Jesus. At uh, Boxer Bray 10. And Maria Gloria. Got it. Follow me. Vinny Compagni Sound at TV Marcus Allen. And don't forget, it is El Chicano Movie on Instagram. And uh, follow us on Facebook, Extra Butter TV. Have yourself an awesome weekend. Don't forget El Chicano, May 3rd. Thanks for That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, baby. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe, turn on your notifications, and click right here to see more awesome videos. Do it right now. Popcorn for each time. More? Keep clicking.
Good job.